to do with aquatic environments in other words going to the beach out on your patio maybe overlooking the ocean or maybe um, sitting out near the lake whatever your plans are if you bounce around water I have the fragrance for you today and the first one I want to bring to you happens to be Bullberry Weekend Bullberry Weekend is a very, very aquatic fragrance. The reason I classify this as aquatic because it's fresh, it's clean, it's aromatic, and not only that, it has a very soft, delicate aroma. Mm, it's very calming fragrance. It has an exceptional amount of fruity mandarin, woody, musky tones within it. The notes consist of the fruitiness and hint of floral but sage and citric elements and it has an earthy scent like to it it's a very beautiful fragrance and it's very very appropriate for an outdoors environment and not only that i think it's excellent for the beach if you're coming close encounters with anyone i don't care where you are especially if it's a it's a, a special occasion like a date or something you on the beach with your significant other and you are in a cozy romantic headlock <laughs> with this individual you want to smell pleasant even on the beach you really do and this scent right here it's name weekend but it's appropriate for the weekend or monday tuesday with any day through the week it's very appropriate for an outdoorsy environment it's exceptionally appropriate for an aquatic environment and the reason it's appropriate for an aquatic environment because it has an aquatic aroma it has the sea elements it has the nature element the earthy tones from the musk in here it's just perfect honey i love this environment but it has a hint of sweetness to it so make the application process very light so that it will smell very natural on your body just like the outdoors atmosphere surrounding an ocean beach or whatever it has that vibe it smells lovely and very appropriate for that so honey please for if you're going near the beach or out on the lake or sitting out on your patio observing the ocean and you want to have that aquatic aroma apply to you i highly recommend blackberry be weekend to you it's a perfect scent for that environment lovely and the next one I have for you happens to be Giorgio Armante this fragrance right here is definitely aromatic and it has that seashell scent mm, smells just like something fresh out of the ocean definitely it's very appropriate you will love this one it has the rose elements Mm, it has a hint of sweetness, but what's most exquisite about this fragrance happens to be the greenness. It's so abundantly elevated with green. Oh, it smells just like the pine in the trees, the stems from the floral. It smells like the whole rose been applied in here. And it has a hint of lemon, the floor that has a peonies and it has spices and amber it's perfect and it's all blended together it's a very unique scent it's very indifferent from any oh it has its own individual it's unique and it has its own individual compositions that elevates this scent to where it's distinguishing very distinguishing it's romantic it's calming it's fresh it has the essence of sensuality and all of that but it's still very appropriate it's very appropriate for a beach environment or an aquatic environment because of all the natural elements within this fragrance and you know what i think you're gonna really love it because i do it's just perfect for the aromatic environment of an aquatic lifestyle for a temporary period of time definitely because who doesn't want to smell appropriate for the type of occasion that they're being subjected to i know i would i mean i think this is lovely you have that green element on your body you have that woody scent in your body 
you have that spicy and not only that it has even a hint of cedar so all nature 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 penetrating right from this little container here and it's lovely it's a lovely scent recommend this one for an aquatic environment definitely and now we have um mm, here's one that i haven't i just happen to be going through my collection trying to determine what can I find to use for this particular subject matter? Agari. This is an EDT. And it's Agari Omanthus Crystalline. Definitely. This is a nice scent. It's very, 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 uh, I would say to some extent, it's kind of primitive because I've had it for quite some time. It's been in my collection forever. But it's a pleasant aroma. But not only that, it falls perfectly in this character for, for aquatic scents. And the reason I'm saying that is because of the aroma that's projected for you from here. It's purifying. It smells so pure on the body. It's very pure. It smells fresh. It smells so clean. It has an appetizing, uplifting scent. It's comforting. Mm, definitely. So soft and delicate. It's to the point where it's, the notes has distributed such moderation to the point where you almost, they're undetectable. It smells so natural. And that's what I like about it because of the fact that it has bamboo in it, but it isn't a harsh, heavy type of bamboo. It's very light. You know, bamboo is wood, so of course it has those woody elements within it. And it has a fruity appetite or appearance with it. Mmm. Mm. and it's it's dry it's a dry scent for a dry environment like out in the sun in other words when it's on you it's on you it stays on you and it goes on dry and it stays dry and it sticks with your skin and it leaves such a pleasant aroma it has a woody fruity aroma but the citric is what dominates this particular scent i think the pro most prominent notes in this particular scent happens to be the fruity notes which makes it smells a little bit of sweet but i want you to know this is a beautiful scent too but it's so light it's so delicate it's almost in non-existence and it smells very natural on your body very natural very calming very peaceful scent uplifting as well so i highly recommend this fakari amina crystalline scent to you for aquatic environments like the ocean like the beach wherever you travel that's going to involve water this scent's very appropriate and my next one i have for you happens to be tommy bahamas you know what Oh God, I can still smell that Fogari. I did not realize that scent smelled so nice. It smells lovely. It's so delicate. I love it. I can smell it. It's light, but I can smell it. You know, like you put on one fragrance and you put on another one and you feel like one's dominating the other one. I want you to know this is a light. This Fogari fragrance here is the lightest fragrance I have to present to you today. But when I just put it on, the scent is elevated in itself and it has such a powerful projection. It's a performance on it. It's dominating. It's dominant. It's exceptionally dominant. It's dominating itself over all the other fragrances that I've applied today because it has that twist of bamboo and earthy and mentor and all of those together. And it just smells lovely. I had to come back and tell you that because when I did like this, Honey, I smelt it early and I was like, oh, it's so light. But when you apply it to your body, it dries down and it just pop, pow, pow, pow. Honey, it just pops right out at you and it stays out there. It isn't like, I'm going to dry up and then I'm going to go on and I'm going to dry down and I'm going to pop back up. No, when you apply it, you get your pop right then in there. Poof just poof like a magical poof of fragrance and it just stays i'm still doing this and i still smell that honey it smells just like the ocean 
just like the beach and people are like well I don't think the ocean smell nice but you can determine whether or not a fragrance smells like the ocean because you it has to be sweet and and it has to be sweet and salty and all of those elements working together sweet all tea it just has a beautiful aroma overall that reminds you of the ocean so okay that's enough about that one back to Tommy Bahamas <laughs> oh god I just want you to know that this fragrance is a beautiful fairy it comes from South America well it's named after South America Bahamas Tommy Bahamas but in all actuality Thomas Bahamas I think it was probably originate in St. John in the Bahamas near that particular area but they're really based out of Florida and a lot of people aren't aware of that their primary company and it's a designer fragrance and the reason I can tell you it's a designer fragrance because they have a large product line of not just fragrances almost everything you can think of definitely but even housewares yes but this here scent Whew, honey, I kind of stumbled up on this fragrance, but I did purchase it myself. But you know, this fragrance is expensive. I was not aware of how expensive it happens to be. I was checking it out, and they had on there, the prices range from $30 to $120. And I, and that's based on the sizes. But honey, when I purchased this one, this is a three ounce, and it's an EDT. No, it's an EDP. Yeah, this is an EDP, and I purchased this one. I didn't pay a hundred and thirty dollars for it. I can't remember what I paid, but I didn't pay that much. But I checked it out, and this three ounces is a hundred and thirty dollars, and I guess that isn't bad for a fragrance. But it's more than what I wanted to pay for it. And I'm so happy that I didn't have to pay $130 for this fragrance. But I did purchase this one for myself. And I classify this one as being naturally an aquatic fragrance. And the reason I say it's a natural aquatic fragrance, look, it's obvious. It's from the Bahamas. The original name of it, from the Bahamas. And it's the original company was originated in St. John, a St. Lu Lucius over there in the South America somewhere and look at the design of the ball. It's designed as a oyster type of seashell and it has a pearl right here but the bottle is designed specifically for an aquatic environment because it symbolizes a seashell but that's not the most important aspect of this fragrance it's the scent honey. This is definitely an aquatic fragrance and the reason I class for this is an equator fragrance because of the scent. The scent is so lovely. Mm, you know what? It has like a salty, pristine sweetness that elevates itself when you apply it to your body. It comes with an exceptional amount of gardenias, vanillas, petroleums, and musk. All of these elements working together, which establish a simulated Gordon scent. But it's light. It's very clean smelling. He said, I'm coming back to you with this video today. Happens to be because of the fact that in this here area where I reside, the COVID-19 quarantine ban was recently lifted on every institution in this city, including the beaches. So, since we've been cooped up for so long, I want you to know, I know that many individuals are going to make preparations to go to the beach. And it's a replica of the, to me, it's a replica of a lighter version of Parada candy, but it has that salty element to it, to some extent. In other words, it has a juicy mandarin citric aroma that gives a little bit of salty appearance but it still smells exceptionally aquatic and that's why I'm bringing it to you as one of my aquatic fragrance because of the aromatic of it it's lovely it's definitely lovely and I really admire this fragrance but this is very appropriate for the beach but just be a little 
little bit modest with it because you don't want to smell too sweet on the beach because it has a little sweetie base to it. So I highly recommend this as one of your aquatic fragrances as well. So please invest in this one. Tommy Bahamas products overall, he has some nice products, so I suggest a nice collection line, not necessarily just fragrances, all of his collections, whatever they are, I found it to be pretty exquisite. So I recommend you check this out as well. And the next one I have for you happens to be Gucci Bamboo. Yeah, Gucci Bamboo. We were talking about bamboo earlier as a component in a fragrance. But ba this bamboo right here, honey, mm, I haven't have not pulled this fragrance out in so long. I'm going to put it right here so I can just do like that and smell it. Honey, this one is very, very aquatic. It's perfect for a beach town environment because it's so outdoorsy. All of these fragrances I'm bringing to you today are definitely are aquatic. Definitely. I was... A little hesitant because you know that's kind of touchy subject matter because most people have their own individual opinion but I want you to know, I think you would definitely agree with me as far as like this here being a quite fragrance because it smells just like the ocean it has such a fragrant scent of an oceanic environment definitely because of all of the balsamic notes in here and it has such to some extent a little bit of powderiness to it it has yang yang it has amber and some spices and all of that elevates it to being an aquatic scent because of the sensation you get from it all of it's exceptionally pleasant and it's comforting and not only that it's exceptionally cozy as well so i highly recommend this fragrance to you and to guys because of the fact that doing a close encounter cozy environment you find it to be exceptionally sensual so i highly recommend this because it has a salty scent to it as well which is appropriate for an aquatic environment because it's very aromatic and very projectable has a very lovely performance with the elements working together to originate such an elaborate scent i find it exceptionally beautiful okay so I highly recommend this one to you as well. Okay, and my very last one that I have happens to be Elisa. Elisa, I brought this fragrance to you not too long ago. Oh my God, this here is definitely aquatic. I am so, so happy with my selections and my choices because they definitely fall into the correct category. And that category, again, happens to be aquatic. This scent right here has a lovely aroma. It's full of sunbuck, honey, vicholi, cedar, and wood. All of these exquisite elements applied to it. It gives it that oceanic environment. It gives it that aromatic appearance. And it also, it penetrates loud. It goes on soft and it penetrates loud. But it has that pristine, very pristine aroma applied to it where it's designed specifically, it appears to be designed specifically for an aquatic environment because it has that clean, fresh, natural nature aroma. So I want you I want you to know that this is a beautiful scent for an aquatic environment. And I highly recommend to, to you Ellie Saab. And this is a three ounce and it's also very affordable but i want to thank you very much for tuning in i hope i hope you enjoyed the aquatic fragrances i have selected for you because they are very appropriate and if you check them out for yourself you will see and definitely understand why i recommend these and can, if you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you are a subscriber already please comment and continue to review my channels thank you bye